Hi there, I'm Diane Mulligan. And I'm Tony Carnese. And we're going to talk about lockboxes today. There's yeah. been some news lately about lockboxes, right? Yeah, you know, it's not a new issue. It's kind of just coming around again. In fact, Denver is one of the very last markets, um, actually we could be the last one, uh, between us and Detroit that have not adopted electronic lockboxes That just surprises me so much. Why? Yeah, you know, I think some of it's political. There's been some issues in the past. I think some of it is the learning curve. It's a little bit new. The market is so busy, people don't want to slow down and try something new. But I think it's about time. And what are the benefits between a manual versus an electronic? Yeah, so the manual lockboxes, like everybody knows, look like this. The challenge with these is the codes stay the same. A lot of agents don't change them. They never get changed from the original um, default code that they right. had. And it's very easy for the consumer to get into this, right? The electronic lockboxes are a little bit different because um, with these, you have to get a code to be able to open this lockbox, right? It gives the homeowner so much more safety, so much more peace of mind. The agent knows exactly when the showing started, when it ended, because it tracks that, it sends them the information. If the homeowner doesn't want showings between one and three because the little one's sleeping, mm -hmm. this lockbox will not open between one and three. Wow. You can give different codes to different vendors, so if the inspector's going in or you're having work done or something like that, you just know who's in the house. And I just think it's a stronger, it's a stronger value proposition for the agent to protect their clients. So why aren't more agents adopting these electronic black boxes? Some of it's cost. Um, they are a little bit more costly, and then there's a, a subscription every year. But you know, here's the way I'm going to look at it. I think it's an investment in your client, and I think it's an investment in your business. Uh, the challenge is if something were to happen, and you're standing in front of a judge, and the judge looks at you and says, so you knew there was something better out there that could protect your client, that could protect you, but you chose not to use it. I have a hard time with that. I think that's going to put the realtor in a tough position. So everybody should really take a maybe a second look at lockboxes. I think so. Um, I think it's an investment in your business. I think it's an investment in your people. And these logs are an investment in all of you. Absolutely. So we hope you have a great day. Take care.